Well, good afternoon and good evening. Tony here, ACB Electrical Knots Limited. Um, this morning we're having a look at some down lights that have failed. Um, well, they've not failed completely, but there are components of them that have failed. Um, so we're in, a, in an ensuite bathroom at the moment, one of the standard places you'll find down lights. Um, a lot of people have got them all over the place now. Um, these were installed probably 10 plus years ago. Um, they've started to fail. The one above the shower, as I say, we're in the bathroom, that one's still on. Um, but there are a number that are off. Um, reason being, um, we believe, is failed lamps, uh, which are the old little halogen capsules. Um, so there's one of those with a failed lamp, and the other two, are the, the actual drivers uh, are knackered on them. Um, so to, to get all these going again, it's going to be more cost effective to replace the units because time and technology has moved on. Okay, replacement down lights. So these are LED units. Um, now these are 4.8 watts, whereas the old ones are probably something like 30 to, to 50 watts each. So massive energy saving there. So they'll pay for themselves eventually anyway. Um, IP65, IP standing for ingress protection, which is ingress of, of water or foreign bodies into the unit. Um, IP44 is a minimum for a bathroom. These are above and beyond sort of thing that would fit into soffits and fascias. Um, they're all in one unit. They don't have a driver as such. The driver's actually built into them where the old ones would have had a separate driver. Um, this is just a connector unit for the terminals onto the light itself. So first thing to do is to remove all the old ones and then we'll start fitting the new ones. Just a quick look at the old units then, just to see how they compare. Um, these have got a connector block on. Um, these would fail in ECIR anyway because there's internal conductors showing on the outside. Um, so obviously double insulated, but that inner, inner sheath of the cable showing on the outside of an accessory um, would be a code 2 on an ECIR. Um, so these, these could have done with looking at anyway. Um, the separate driver, as we mentioned, um, the, the, the separate to the actual light itself. As you can see, these are naked, so they're not actually fire rated. So if there was a fire below, um, obviously we're in a bathroom, it's not likely to catch fire. Uh, but if there was a fire below or the fitting itself caught fire, it could easily spread through. This 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 instance we're in a bungalow, but uh, if, if it had been a house, it, it would have gone through and then it's obviously under the floor upstairs. Not a place that you want, want to fire. Uh, the new ones are fully fire rated anyway, so they're completely sealed, fully metallic, um, so they don't need the, the shield above them to prevent fire. I need to go in the loft in a bit, so uh, we'll have a look at what uh, what the fire protection was that was up there that had been added to them. Unfortunately, it's something that often gets overlooked. As I said, these, these old style lamps um, are the old allergen style, which are these, which if you've got these in your house, you know they blow quite regular. Um, the new ones, the LEDs, obviously, they, they, they last forever and a day. If you buy decent quality ones, these are decent quality ones. Um, as we were saying, um, these are 35 watts looking at that. Can't see it very easily. But I believe them to be 35 watts. So th these are using probably five times the amount of electricity as, as one of those is. We've also changed the PIR as part of the job. Um, the customer was saying that sometimes the lights would be staying on, which is probably why the uh, the drivers and the lamps are, are blowing. 
Uh, they're also saying that sometimes it'll switch off and not come back on again when they've come in the bathroom. So just there, uh, that's the uh, the new PIR. So we'll nip up in the loft because I've got to, obviously the connections to do on the PIR, just alter it slightly. Um, and I'll show you the fire hoods while we're, we're up there because there are some up. I've been up already first thing just to double check what was up there. So let's nip up and have a look. Right then guys, fire hoods. Um, these are the fireproof fire hoods, as I was saying. They are designed that they sit over the light. So if you've got your light there, you can sit it over. Um, the idea is that it's got these little holes in it to let any of the heat out. And obviously you don't shove it a load of insulation over the top so it overheats. Um, but if this does get hot, it's made out of intermittent material. So that actually swells up to double its size and blocks blocks all these little holes up um, if, if it does get really hot or if flame touches it. So the idea being is to, is to stop the, the fire spreading up. These ones being fully metallic and being completely sealed are the equivalent fire rating of the plasterboard. As you know, plasterboard doesn't burn. It will eventually. If it gets hot enough, it will. Um, but it gives people a chance to, to get out. Um, obviously, if there was a fire downstairs and it came through and there were floorboards here because, you know, this is the upstairs of, of a two-storey house, uh, you'd be in trouble. But um, I'm going to reuse these hoods and I'm going to put them over. It doesn't need, they don't need to be over, but I'm going to use them as, as just a little bit of an air gap so that there's a bit of air circulation round. These get nowhere near as warm as halogen, but it's always useful just to keep them with a little bit of air circulating around them so that they don't overheat. And as I mentioned before, um, this cable is a new cable from the PIR, which I've just pushed up. The terminals aren't very big in it. They're the old cables to the PIR. Also bought me a maintenance-free junction box up uh, with the cord grips, etc. We used to use the, the old round star ones, which were on the downstairs ones. But again, time, technology and what have you has moved on. Ideally, you need the cord grips on them. The other ones, you could just pull the cables and they'd fall out. These, once they're fully secured, cables aren't going anywhere. It's the professional way to do the job. So, right, let's uh, put this junction box on junction box is done um, just so you can see what i mean about a little bit of an air gap um i've completely covered all the rest of them with loft insulation which is as i found it um but before i put this last little bit on i just wanted to show you the the actual wizard's hat or the uh, the fire protector over the top it just it keeps the insulation off a little bit and just lets a little bit of uh, air around now, with the old halogen style lamps, you're not supposed to cover them at all, even with the wizard's hat on. So it, it's supposed to have the, the fire protector on, but then that fire protector is supposed to stay open like that. Now, unfortunately, or, you know, with the energy crisis and what have you, and over the years, people have extra loft insulation fitted. And the, the loft guys, yeah, they, they think they're doing a fantastic job and they completely cover everything like that. But with these being supposed to be open, they then can overheat, which could could possibly be a reason why the lamps and the, the um, transformers have failed or the drivers on, on these old lights. They, they're buried underneath all this, getting really hot. There's nowhere for the heat to go, and they just overheat and uh, and stop working. So that's, that's just a tip to bear in mind. Um, if, you, if you're having your loft insulated, etc., just double check your, your down lights. If you've got LED ones, you know, happy days, but ideally you want a little bit of air to be able to get around them because they do get warm. They don't get mega hot, but they will get warm and keeping them cool is one of the main things. So I'll put this uh, put this last bit of, bit of loft insulation over and uh, I'll get myself out of this little hole. Right, guys, um, we've re-energised. We're just doing the commissioning process at the moment. So the lights are on. Um, the new PIR's sound, I just need to set the timer up on that, hence the covers off. Talking about covers and commissioning, um, down lights are available in the white or chrome. You can also get um, get brass, a uh, choice of different colours on these ones. Uh, the one that I keep in stock anyway, the go-to ones. Um, so customers having uh, chrome on these ones. So. Yeah, I think everybody's uh, everybody's happy. As I say, just just finish the commissioning, minor work certificate, safety test, job done.